Good evening, everyone. It's Monday, and I'm back here again with Final Fantasy XI. So, uh, we're picking up where we left off yesterday. We are looking to continue the uh, Prometheus storyline here. And to do that, we're going to need to head to Upper Juno and speak with Dr. Monboro at his clinic. I believe his name is Monboro. Uh, see what's going on with Preach here. Uh, here we go. Yes, please. So, what's the path for today? We are going to continue on with uh, Prometheus here again. Uh, we'll likely finish up the first our chapter 3 here, and we'll see how far we can get in the other chapters. Is that not the clinic? Oh, no, this is probably the clinic. No. Am I totally misremembering where everything is? Is it on this side? Yeah, it probably is. Infirmary, here we go. Hello, doctor. An, acqu an acquaintance of the patient who was just brought in. That is correct. Where is she? Ah, you also know of the patient. You may accompany Lafayette. However, I must warn you, her condition is still quite unstable. It seems she is suffering terribly. Preach! Wait, are you... Do you two know each other? This noble warrior is the one who brought in our unconscious princess. Sir Tenson, the adventurer Lafayette also seems to be acquainted with the patient. Preach! What the ill has befallen you? Keeper. Preach? Of the Apocalypse! Keeper of the Apocalypse? Of what are you speaking? Calling me. Stop. Get away. No. Her amulet is gone. You. Did you not see an amulet about my dear friend's neck? Without it, she. I apologize, miss, but the time I had. But by the time I had found her, she was without this amulet of which you speak. Impossible. Wait, Lafayette, would you show me your amulet? I feel that the two may be connected in some way. Please, it may be the only way we can save Preach. The patient's condition has stabilized. However, she shows no signs of awakening from the deep sleep into which she has fallen. In all my years as a doctor, I have never seen anything like this. Lafayette, do you truly feel that this all has some connection to that amulet? If only the mysterious boy who dropped it were still here, he might be help us shed some light onto the predicament in which we find ourselves. Boy? You do not mean the same boy whom the Ducal Guard is searching for, do you? What is this? Have you also heard the rumors of the strange young man who disappeared days ago? While visiting the palace, I was told of a certain dangerous boy. I see. So this boy carried with him an amulet similar to that of the girl. 
This could be why she was attacked. But the precious amulet was given to her by Cardinal Meldorian. It is preposterous to think that the Cardinal would could be associated with any criminal. Cardinal Meldorian of the Tamdesian Cathedral? Yes, long ago, the Cardinal gave the amulet to Preach after she had been badly injured in an accident. She said it was to protect her. Ever since that day, she has not been without the amulet. But why would anyone wish to steal it? Perhaps it was the boy who stole it, the patient's amulet. However, just days ago I heard that the boy was recently spotted in the ruins of Sorsha, located deep within the dreaded Northlands. What? Are you positive? A soldier I treated for hypothermia could mention that his party had seen him along alone in the ruins. When the Ducal Guard learned of this, they set out for the Northlands at once. So, the fourth crystal lies in the ruins of Sosha. I have no time to lose. Wait! Before you set off on your journey, I must inform you that the ruins are controlled by an organization known as the Tenshodo. You should probably consult them first. I see. Thank you for this information. Good day, Doctor. You lend the mysterious amulet to the bridge. Very good. Now then, we are gonna have a chat with the Tenshodo. Here we go. I did try to read ahead on the mission here and see what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I think I sort of know, but obviously I've not done this before, so some of the details may I may need to look up, look up again here. That said, hopefully it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Here, am I speaking to someone in particular in here? I think I may be. We're looking for Gebby, right? Let's see. Uh, yeah, not here. Let's check the corridor. Ah, am I in the wrong area? Inside Neptune Spyro from the lower. Uh, no, 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 is the guard out here? No, am I misremembering who, who uh, everyone is here? Very likely. Yeah, Gabby's the Innkeeper here. There we go. What? You want to explore the tower to Sosha? That should be a problem. We recently opened those ruins to all explorers. However, the Tenshodo is currently conducting an investigation on the deeper areas of the central tower, and we can't have pesky adventurers running around getting in our way. Though, if you were to scratch our backs, we wouldn't have any problems scratching yours. It just happens that the Tenshodo is searching for a serpent jewel that is very popular in the Near Eastern countries. What kind of gem it is? Hmm, well, they're thin, hexagonally shaped, and come in rare colors like carmine and cyan. I heard that rich people like to decorate their turbans with them. 
They even say that sometimes a strange light shoots from their centers, though I've never seen it happen. Luckily for you, we've been finding lots of the jewels in the other towers of Sosha. Unfortunately, some strange device in that place seems to weaken even the strongest of our numbers. That's where you come in. Now, if you were to find one of these those and bring it back to me, I'm pretty sure I could convince the boss to allow you access to the central tower. Cool. So, that's our incentive here. I believe Socha is near... Um, let's see, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's the glacier. Let's see here. Both of the glacier, yeah. And we'll see where we can find our way in here. Travel to another home point. Uh, we're going to have to reload the garden so we can get the warp to uh, the uh, survival guide. And then we'll head into one of the towers there. As I understand it, the tower in H8 should be suitable. Um, the operation systems. Uh, Origandi, Bossy in Glacier. Sooner or later we'll need to update our tabs here, but... We're fine for a ways more, I think. So let's bring out the crusts. Right, I'm too quick. Again. There we go. We have to grab Balenirel on our own manually then. There we go. Now then, if we look at the map here, we have a tower at H8 at the uh, just below us here. And I believe that's where. Or, no, wait. It's just above us here. I see. I wasn't sure that it was actually going to be the one that they suggested here, but apparently we can go in there. Let's have a look. So we head down. Proceed onwards. Let's call our friends again. I believe I got the map for Dosha as well. Yeah, I did. That's good. There we go. And we're looking for some ships. Gazers, let's check those out. So it's too weak to be worthwhile. That's good enough by me. I believe the Diarmites here should have them. Apparently. Let's give it a go and see. We're only gonna need one, so it should be fine. Lord Stone. A 
come on now. There we have a great ship. We're gonna take that and head back to the Tenshodo again. Then we're gonna head back here again. But there we go. Let's see. Am I equipped with the warp ring? I am. Quickest way home. Marginally here, probably, but I think it still is. Particularly since we can port into Lower Juno directly here from here. Now yeah, then, let's go ahead and have a look. Juno... Point two... I really hope I picked up the ship now, but I believe I should have enough inventory slots. Hello, let's trade with you. Uh, is it at the bottom? There it is. This translucent gray ship is shaped like a tiny hexagon. Its strange light is emitted from its sparkling center. Go. Well, what do you know? This is exactly what we've been looking for. Get some money. You know, you're not a bad treasure hunter. Did you ever think of joining it, Tensho, though? Ah, uh, but you'd probably get bored really quick. Anyway, take this pass. It will give you access to the more sensitive areas of the ruins. But I'll warn you one last time. The central tower ruins are still under investigation. Don't expect any search parties if you happen to get lost. So, now I have Soja Pass. Uh, the item here. I believe it's permanent. The slip of paper reads, You have hereby you have been hereby granted permission by the Shodo for travel into the deeper areas of the Soja ruins. Very good. Right, and then we're gonna head back to the same uh, entrance here again. See if we can get into the deeper parts. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Teleportation assistance back to where we were. Yes, please. Now then. We head back in. And hopefully I know what I'm doing here. We'll see. Yes, 
this. Let's press forward. Grab our crusts. I'm not sure how much you know, we are over leveling here right now, or if we are or not. But I figure let's go ahead and bring our friends out just in case. And we'll then sneak and uh, make us invisible if we need to. Okay, these guys are just buffing themselves, I think. So let's continue on. I believe we're looking to pass through some gates. Okay, How are the bombs here? Too weak to be worthwhile. Maybe we'll see that when we see it. So we have black, purple, we have red, black, and we have green. So I understand it. We're heading through red. Our friends are taken from us. Um, let's bring them out again, just in case. Then we'll see what happens if we move along here. For the next room here, we're looking for black and purple. And we have white as well. I guess let's have a look at the animus and see if they ever level up here and if we need to be. Careful. Easy prey. Probably not, but let's go ahead and fly our oils and invisibility, I guess. No. There we go. Next exit, we're looking for a red. And yeah, let's just run, I guess. We're looking for purple and black again here. If we've done this correctly, we should end up where we need to go now, I believe. Uh, let's bring our crusts out here. I 
Because we should be able to do it now. To so take an elevator down. And then we're gonna follow a path that's gonna take us into another little staging area and where we'll have our coming boss fight. And I think it's gonna be a pretty cool one if uh let's see here, let's just run forward. Elevator, elevator. Yeah, there we have it. Let's see where we end up. Can we only exit here? Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess we're fighting. Yeah, this one's easy to take out as well. Should be fine. I mean, it's close enough. Right, there we go. There's no map for this area. Let's just follow Afton. Again, we are over level there. So, um, it'll probably be more even once we get in here, but hopefully... Hold the Sosha pass up to the door. Yes, please. Ah, the magic door knows we have our paperwork. Thank you very much. Grab the home point. Which means we'll be able to travel here now as well. Again, this is area that's not actually have a map. But we should be able to find our way here at least. I imagine that there won't be another staging area. Or another uh, home point is what I was trying to say. Lafayette, were you able to locate the fugitive boy? I must have searched the entire landscape surrounding this tower. However, I was unsuccessful in uncovering any trace of him. All that remains is the area that lies ahead of... Huh? What is this... this chill in the air? What is this chill in the air indeed? Uh, let's go ahead and have a look around. So this is going to be a momentum circle, which works like the burning circles that we've had for boss fighters before, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. I need to pick up some more food sooner or later here, I think. Fine enough, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit here. But yes, uh, as I understand, we're gonna have a pretty cool boss fight here, I think. We may still be a little bit over leveled, um, or we may max out the uh, uh, level sync for the fight here. I'm not entirely sure how the level sync mechanics works here, to be honest, but um, I think we'll have a decent. Um, challenge as we go along here. And as far as I know, we should be able to summon our cross in here. So we'll see. 
but I don't think we should have any problems. And if we do, I guess we'll deal with that when we get to it then. What is my maximum health here right now? 13, 11. Yeah. Lots of downtime here, but uh, we'll get to it sooner or later. You know what we can do in the meantime? Let's go ahead and set uh, the record of eminence for doing missions here for Mafia. I guess once this is done, we're gonna grab this. Oh no, we have to set already. That's fine. I believe we're probably going to get some additional uh, experience and things like that for doing it for the first time on this character. So, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we've been getting more than what has been noted on the uh, missions before this. So, all right, almost there. Just a few more ticks. Just a few more ticks. There we go. Only took me three minutes on my full buff to heal up to where I wanted to be. And we're going into the battlefield darkness named. Record is 2 minutes 18 seconds. Get a feeling that we're gonna take longer than that. What is this? What is the purpose of this place? What sort of dark rituals were performed here? Hmm? We are not alone. It cannot be! She's supposed to be resting in the infirmary in Juno! And that boy! So you are the one who saved me. What? I'm supposed to give this to... Wait, what are you conspiring with that boy? Speaking of... Traitors! There is no escape! Here come that boy! <laughs> uh, the terrestrial avatar of dreams! Diabolos! Which can only mean... We are already inside his dream! There we go. Let's bring our trusts out. I wonder when we are going to get our fifth trust member here. I don't think it goes further than that, but I believe six part members is the uh, general small scale uh, party content in this game. So let's make our way forward. And see about getting down for the fight. And jump. Drawn in. Oh, oh. That's 
tight. Uh, but probably should go ahead and put semi for reasons. Uh, oh, hey, okay. uh, we're we're already done. Your efforts are in vain, for this is nothing but a dream. I am the ruler of this subconscious plane. What your dream... What you dream becomes my dream, and what I dream becomes your world. Now, sleep. I will not let you drag me into your darkness. That flame! Phoenix! The blazing life force of the Avatar flows through my blade. I, Tenson, left my country in the Far East after hearing the warning of the Avatars. The warning that the Keeper of the Apocalypse return was imminent. I have come here to request your assistance. Of the five crystals, three have been overcome by the emptiness. Is it not the duty of the five terrestrial Avatars to protect the crystals? Let us join in arms and defeat the enemy of light. Battle the emptiness. So, Phoenix still remains on whole. And that is why she continues to feed people false hopes, all the while forgetting the truths that lie in the battles fought 10,000 years ago. False hopes? How could you say such a thing? Listen carefully, children of the dawn. Emptiness is not without reason. Its place is set in the internal scheme of the universe, and the true reason is that which lies deep within your soul, reason that makes you what you are. So if emptiness is reason, then our souls are filled with... To defy the will of the Twilight Gods is to defy reason. Any attempt to escape from emptiness is futile. Now that the emptiness encroaches on your soul, you can hear its voice. And the voice that calls back. The voice of the emptiness within you. The voice of emptiness. However, there is no need for despair. 10,000 years ago, the Kulu too lost all hope. It is then that I was born here, in the depths of their city. I am the ruler of dreams, and within my dreams, within my kingdom of Dynamis, People can escape the harshness of reality. Emptiness consumes the body, but the soul lives on. It lives on in my world. If the Keeper of the Apocalypse truly is on his way, there is nothing left on Venadil for the children of Altana. Nothing but annihilation. Now come, save yourselves while you still have the chance. Let go. Of all you know and enter my world as have many others. The realm of dreams is a paradise, free of pain and strife. Shut up, you monster! Why would anyone want to live in your prison anyway? How do you know we can't defeat the emptiness? Have you even tried? Fool. You have heard the voice of the emptiness, so you are unaware of what, of what lies beyond my dreams. And even so, you tell me you do not fear what you heard. Why would I be afraid of that? I've survived beastman attacks, huge explosions, and the fall of Amnesia. People can do anything if they don't give up hope. Isn't that right, Lafayette? There's always hope. Why? Why do you remember what you saw in my world? It was I who led you to my realm, or was it uh, if you who led me to yours? If that is true, then this light, this light is that of the crystal. Are you all right? 
I was unable to stop the boy, but for what reason was he here? And what is the truth behind the words of Diabolos? Much is still unclear. I must return to Juno and find out if there is anything else that girl knows. There we go. Uh, where am I right now? That's the door of some kind. Are we... No. I'm assuming this is the actual social area. That's it out, and we'll have a look. No map for this area either. Oh. Whoa. I'm not sure how I got here. Uh, that's fine. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, that's the elevator. That's fine. Let's head back to Juno then. Here we go. But yes, that was indeed a uh, fact that we were significantly, significantly stronger than we needed to be for at the moment here. So hopefully we'll come up to some more challenging content again here as we move along. Now then, upper Juno this time, please. Um, yeah, there we go. That should be the one. I guess A is for apo apothecary. Um, E tends to be for entrance and M for mog house, so I'm assuming that's what we're looking for here. Uh, there it is. I to reorient myself a little bit. Hello, Doctor. If you're still here to see the girl, she has been awake for the past few hours. What do you think you're talking about? There's no way that Cardinal would... I know, but even if she did, I am positive there is a reasonable explanation. Oh, Lafayette, I cannot even begin to express my gratitude for you, you saving Preach. She has informed me of what had transpired that day. Possessed by an unknown beast within her own deems, dream. You and Tenzin were able to bring her back. However, we still do not know what has become of the amulet she carried. I sense that the goings-on of the past few days are at the tip of the iceberg. Lafayette, is there anything more you can tell us? That is the question we should be asking you. What are your connections with the cr this criminal that I, the Duchy, and Lafayette are searching for? The boy who has constantly eluded the Ducal Guard. Where is he hiding? Priya, she must answer me. Why was that boy with you, and where has he disappeared to? Hell if I know. There's one thing that I can say. I don't care if he's on top of Juno's most wanted list. If it weren't for him saving my butt, I'd be pushing up lilacs. In the necropolis. Anyway, it's not the boy I, it's not the boy I'm worried about. What are you going to do about the monster in my dream? You said you knew what it was, right? Come on, spill it, old man. Why are are this? Why is this thing after me? Hmm. 
Diabolos, Terrestrial Avatar of Dreams. Terrestrial Avatar? The Terrestrial Avatars are the five powerful gods born of Vanadil and entrusted to protect her. Excuse me, I had to take a drinking turn. Many eons ago, the five avatars fought a fierce battle with an evil presence that attempted to envelop and suffocate our world. There is a fiery bird of resurrection, Phoenix, whom the blade I carry at my side has been blessed by. And then there is the ruler of dreams, Diablos, the guardian of the moon, Fenrir, the bringer of rainbows, Carbuncle, and the conqueror of the skies, Bahamut. Bahamut? You have heard of the legend of Bahamut? It just so happens that I have traveled across many miles of ocean to this continent in order to meet Bahamut and request his assistance in stopping the Keeper of the Apocalypse. Now that you mention it, when I went to Cape Reverne, I do remember Bahamut saying something about a Keeper of some sorts. Keeper of the Apocalypse? Trish. Those are the words you spoke while you were unconscious. All I remember is that before you guys arrived, the monster Diablos talked about a song that sang of the Keeper. What was it called? Memoria de la Stona? The Memory of the Crystal. He also said that, there, well, that when the Keeper arrives, our pact will be fulfilled, whatever that means. And that's why he told me to see Bahamut as soon as possible. Our pact? What could he have meant? Beats me, and I don't plan on going back there to ask him. But I have a feeling that Bahamut could fill us in on the details. That's why we've got to get back to Tavnasia. Back to Tavnasia? You mean to tell me that you have come from the Marquisate? That is correct. However, we were teleported here by Bahamut when we tried to speak with him. What an excellent turn of events! It just so happens that I have requested transport to Tavnesia from the leader of the Tenshodo, Aldo. If it is possible, I would like for you two to join me and help me find Bahamut. So you are the guy Aldo was talking about. Well, I guess that more the merrier, right? We'll meet you at the Tenshodo when you're ready to go. Understood. Oh, and you, Lafayette. I'll be holding on to this amulet for just a little while longer. You got a problem with that? Hey, and when you're finished with your business here, why don't you come back to Tamnasia? You know the way, right? See you around. There we go. Chains of Promethea, Chapter 3. Has been completed. We got more sparks, but we didn't get more uh, experience, but that's fine. Uh, let's set the next Tavnesia chapter as well, I suppose. Chapter 4. Yes, please. And let's have a look at the mission description as well. Sheltering Doubt. Preach has returned to Tavnatia, and it would be wise to follow. The winds of twenty years past have once again begun to swirl about these islands. What evils do these winds carry? Before we go there though, I don't want to pick up a map. Because I know we were missing one before. Specifically, we're looking for Cape Reverne here. So let's see if we can find it here. Then we can head over. Um, hello, Recesse. 
Magical maps for sale. Uh, if we burn, please. Here we go. Yes, please. Um, I'm not sure what else we're gonna need here. Still need to be somewhat selective with our maps. Uh, and then we've got this one at least. And it seems that we're going to head back to um, Cape Reburn sooner or later, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on here. Tabnasium, they fold. Number one should be fine. Yes, please. We'll probably get cutscenes with Sony in here, I'm assuming. The Cradles of Children Lost, Chapter 4. Phew! It's good to be back home! What's with the long faces? I'm back! Break out your brew and grub! Something is amiss, Bridge. Preach, Olmia. You are all right. What's going on here, Justinius? Did anything happen while I was gone? Well... Preach, Olmia. Please come with me. There is something we must speak of. Grandpère? Alright, uh, I guess we're going to home point free actually, and that's going to be the closest one. Yes, please. And I believe it's the south door. Um, I'm really speaking to a guard outside, I think. And it shouldn't be that one, so I'm assuming it's over here. And we're also going to have a chat with just getting us on the way out here later, but. No? Let's see it here. Okay, then. Uh, maybe we go through here? Oh, there we are. Ah, oh, Lafayette, welcome back to the safe hold. This may sound odd, but on behalf of the residents of Tanesia, I would like to thank you. Were it not for your arrival on this island, we would have more than likely been trapped here until our deaths, our existence unknown to those back in the mainland. And to think that I would be reunited once again with my granddaughter. There is nothing I could say or do that would express my gratitude. May I enter? Why, if it isn't the messenger from the Far East? You must be exhausted from your long journey. 
Welcome to our humble town. My name is Despachier, Pulmia's grandfather. I thank you for your warm welcome. Tenzin, at your service. I travel across the seas to Juno in the hopes of meeting Lord Bahamut. While there, I was fortunate enough to make the acquaintance of both Ulmia and Krish. However, my mission is not yet complete. I request permission to leave the safe hold so that I may continue my journey in search of the Conqueror of the Skies. I see. So you wish to speak with Bahamut? I apologize, but I must ask you to refrain from visiting the Avatar at the moment. Bahamut has built a nest but a few months away from the safe hold. If anyone or anything were to disturb him, the results could be catastrophic for Tavnesia. The, the diplomat from Juno, Nagmulada, should be returning from the Sacrarium shortly. I request that you accompany him on his journey to Bahamut's lair. Until then, feel free to rest within our city's walls. We shall try our best to meet any of your needs. A diplomat from Juno? Understood. I shall wait here until he arrives. Sir Despachere, may I ask why I am not allowed to speak with Lady Preach? There is something I must ask her. However, when I attempted to enter her room, she became upset and sent me away. I apologize for her actions. While it may not show, Preach is cursed by a terrible sickness. I wish she would stay in the safe hold and rest, but that personality of hers will not let her do so. I am amazed her body holds at all. Now that Nangulada has promised the revival of trade talks with Juno, Tamnesia needs Preach to be healthy. I see. I did not know that the situation was so grave. Did you, Lafayette? The Despachier, I will, com I will comply with your request regarding my Baha journey to Bahamut. Please inform me when the diplomat has returned and further arrangements have been made. This is not good, Lafayette. I must meet with Bahamut before Juno dispatches its army. However, my hands are tied unless I can find Ulmi and speak with Lady Preach. Indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and head out again. And we're gonna speak with Justinius as well. Assuming he's stood where he was before. It is thanks to Preach that our nation has grown strong over the past 20 years. Without her, we would not be where we are today. Her presence is a special one, a miracle bestowed upon us by the Dawn Goddess. However, there are now rumors that the miracle is about to fade. What will become of Tamnasia? You are looking for Ulmia? She probably went down to the coast. I must say, it's quite uncommon for her to argue with her grandfather like she did earlier. To the coast we go. Um... Current region, number one, yes please. Let's see what we're actually looking for here. Looking for an dilapidated gate at I-11. Ghost. Right. Uh... What's the... this should be the exit to the left here, yeah. There we go. I-11 should be quite far east and south, I think. Uh, 
11 and nice well it was the first place we found her i guess so we're going to head back there now let's go on crab this time i do love my crab there we go Hello. It heads southwest past this here. Luckily, it's not very far. Maybe it's up there. And this mountain play, please. And we open the gate. Yet, you were looking for me. Forgive me, I knew not what to do. In times such as these, I came I come here to sing. Listen, this wind can carry your thoughts and dreams. It will rise up into the boundless sky and soar over the ocean, echoing across the entire world. Gentle Altana will hear your supplication and bestow her blessings upon you. When I was but a young girl, I came here to whisper a prayer to the goddess, and truly was it answered. What's the matter with you? What are you so worked up about? You're so full of angst I could hear your thoughts from miles away. Hmm? You'll have to say a thing. Let's see now. Huh? You didn't make it to the, into the choir. You were too nervous to sing in front of everyone. Unbelievable. I guess I can understand why you'd want to join the cathedral choir. You get to wear those pretty clothes and every meal is a feast. But it's not the end of the world, you know. Hmm? Listen to me. You might be too young to realize it. This world is one damn big place. Let me put it this way. The world that stretches away to the right and the world that stretches away to the left combined with the worlds above and the worlds below. That's a whole other world around you. Do you get it? This microset you live in is just one part of the Tavnasian archipelago. It's just one part of the world of an ideal. The world of Ulmia is just one tiny little corner of all that. But I guess your dream of singing in the choir is over. And so is your parents' dream that you entered that world. But the world where you sing can still exist in Vanadil. Do you see? Come on, let's hear you sing. Let's make that world right here.
Please, you've snuck out of the cathedral again. Cardinal Mildarian! See you around, Olvia! Thanks to Preach, my wish was granted and I was able to join the choir. That was when I learned she was the abhorrent one who had long been connected with the Themnasian Cathedral. I also discovered that the power she was born from should be reviled, not Preach herself. However, that was not the only time that Preach was to help me. When we were swept up in that storm of war, were it not for her power, I doubt we would have survived the terrible fate that befell our city. What she accomplished was nothing short of a miracle. As you are no doubt aware, while we were on the mainland, a plea for aid to Juno was made with Mag Nagmulada's assistance. The eyes of the people of Amnesia were shining so very brightly, just as they did that time when Preach was still called the Abhorrent One. Dawn Goddess, bless me with your wisdom. We need your guidance in choosing the right path of action. What must I do? Is Preach truly deserving of such a revilement? I wish to save her, but in doing so do I damn myself? Surely such an act can be forgiven. Oh my! Bahamut, one of the terrestrial avatars. Could Bahamut be the one to answer my questions? Lafayette, I will go to meet with him. Would you accompany me on my journey? We go to Monarch Lynn, the home of Bahamut. Alright. Now then, where do we need to go to go on there? Um let's see here. I think we should be fine there. Um we maybe will go ahead and uh, take some more time than we pr probably need to in order to do the next mission here, but hopefully, hopefully we should be fine. So what we're looking for is another dilapidated gate here at Mr. Coast F7. Uh, and to do, go there, we need to go through here. F7 is again at the very top there where we entered. Um, it kept reverting before. Yeah, F7, at the very tip top of the. Oh. Need to actually go through the cave. Yes, at the very top there of uh, the next open area here. Indeed. Let's head up through here, and then we're taking a left. And then we will be... Again here. On, uh, way to Cape Reburn. I think this chapter here that we're going through here shouldn't be as long as the one we just did. I think all the running around in the middle there uh, with the split quest line in uh, Sandoria and uh, Winders really took a lot of time that we uh, 
spent on the uh, missioner, so. Now the gate's coming up. There we go. Yes, please. Lafayette, you're here. I hope I did not keep you waiting. It took some time to convince Justinius. Of course it did. Even if priests were here, there's no way I'd be letting a young lady climb into that den of beasts all alone. She is not alone. You're that man from the east. With an experienced adventurer like Lafayette and the Phoenix Blade at my side, there's nothing for her to fear. It would seem that Bahamut is indeed close by. Now, let us begin our climb. Can't let you do that. Who goes there? Who goes there indeed? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Your every move is so predictable. You free. Meeting with Bahamut is forbidden. Mr. Nagbalat has said so. Trespassers are to be punished. What wickedness is this? Time to get warped, lawbreaker. She she cast the wrong warp. She cast the wrong warp. Leave these idiots to me. I'll catch up. It's about time someone taught these pranksters a lesson. Our thanks, Justinius. Do not be too harsh on them. You're not getting away. Feel my mighty spells. Now then, uh, I believe we are in a new uh, area for Cape Reverne here. Yes, Cape Reverne, site B1. Or B01 even. Um, so we're gonna take uh, a path here that we're gonna follow. Um, in the guide, just to make sure that we are going correctly here. Uh, but apparently, there's two um, monarch lean points here, so we need to actually follow the guide along. I think here, now let's see here. Add southwest to the spatial displacement. Easy enough. There should be only be one here. Uh, probably should go ahead and bring out our friends again. Uh, let's rock here. Easy prey. So I think we're still fine on that end, but that'll be good to have them out at least. Hmm. We're gonna need giant scales again. I wonder if I have them they left here since last time. Um if I do they would be in the mod case, I believe. Um let's see here, giant scales, giant scales. Maybe I throw them away. That would have been unfortunate if that's the case. Yeah, I guess we may need to do some additional grinding here. 
Not sure how many we'll need. But it's apparently going to be more than one, so let's go ahead and group. We'll enter the displacement. I think we should be fine. Um, so long as we uh, see here. So let's say as long as we um, hippogriffs are also easy prey. Uh, let's go ahead and take out this one here first and we'll see. We're probably not uh, getting attacked by them here anyway, so it's fine. Giant scale me, please. Skin. We'll go ahead and kill dragons until we no longer can. I guess let's see if we drag in the other enemy here with an AoE from any of our crusts or not. There we go. There we have it. one giant scale, and we picked it up. Picked it up. Now we're heading north, uh, west here, I believe. West northwest until we reach G eight. So well, good. Uh, G is all the way over to the west side here, and eight's at the top part, so we've got the west go. This shouldn't be too bad of a problem, I hope. Uh... And we could just head straight west here, I think, more or less. Having map really does help here, so... Uh, yeah, indeed. So it should be just under the other area there. Uh, under elementals. Decent challenges here. I imagine that the... Uh, Marlboro's here as well. Might be East Bray, actually. They're not going to aggro to us either, it seems. If that's the case. No, this one did. Okay, let's go ahead and. Like this one, then. Then we'll go ahead and uh, sneak up, I suppose, here. We might want to uh, keep our distance a bit more from the uh, hippogriffs here as well, if that's the case. But 
For now, let's just yeah, go ahead and apply. I think so. We are gonna have an easier time getting through. We're not getting much experience from these enemies here, anyway. So, not too worried about that part. How long am I away from another the two minutes? Right, so let's see if we can head through the central passage there. This should bring us out where we need to be roughly, I think. go we're gonna need to be visible again yeah I think we actually need that but it's fine Let's go ahead and stand close. Let's go ahead and trade the um, scale. The displacement has grown. And in we go. Now, I guess we're probably going to be on some of the floating islands here again. So we're not really in any danger of uh, going wrong here, I think. Just need to get to the other side of the island. If we get attacked, we can always hide, so not too worried about that. Special displacement, thank you. And then the next we should need to go south for another special displacement and following that we should be all good and up to the area where we need to be i believe oh. i guess we are collecting um so let's just run we'll hide There we go. Uh, is this one unstable as well? Oh boy. I didn't know it would be. Uh, I guess we're fighting the Drake here anyway then. And I guess we're throwing away something. Um, throw away the bird blood. And the lizard blood. Then we'll see. Got a little friendly heal from our friend Millie, which is good.
we go. One giant skill coming up. Make sure we are on the right. Maybe we're not on the right path. Maybe we need to go over here. Let's say to the south, and that's a spatial displacement, so. Maybe we just ain't got another skill for no reason at all. That's fine. If this is correct, we should be able to. Uh, head to the Monarch Lynn from here. I would say this seems mostly straight right through. Northwest. Uh, I'm sorry. Am I looking at the wrong one? Hmm. I thought we... Oh, maybe we don't go to this island. Maybe we go to the other southern tip. Oh boy. Sit back. Maybe it's over that way. Sure looks like it might be. Um, let's head back then. Too many displacements on this little island here, I feel. This might be what we're looking for. Let's stay far away from the cluster there. Special displacement. This does indeed seem more along the lines of where I was hoping to go. Let's grab the home point again. Nothing's following us as far as I can tell. There we go. And now we should be able to head through here to the staging area. You can sense the majestic presence of a terrestrial avatar on the other side of the spatial displacement. Let's enter the displacement. We are now in Monarch Lynn here. And here's the uh, area, so let's have our last piece of food. And last curry bun. I think we should be more than all right here, but it's probably worthwhile to heal up anyway. I realized that I didn't get all the way back up to where we need to go. That's fine.
Now then, let's see if we can take out whatever enemy we find here. There we go. Actually, let's have a look at our mission. I'm not sure we didn't look at the new mission description here. Savage. Olmia is determined to know and prove, and is ready to revisit Bahamut to learn it. Enlist the aid of Tenzin and Justinius to help you find Ulmia before something terrible occurs. Now then, we're heading into the Savage. If I can get the pop up here, the Savage, please. What is happening? All those who traverse the endless sea of clouds, all those who bear the shell of the sun as they cross the skies, winged brothers and sisters, hear my call. It is I, Bahamut, king of the worms. Come and gather here before me. The time has come for the fulfillment of the ancient pact. Dragons. I've never seen so many dragons. Not dragons, worms. Their king, Bahamut, has called upon his minions. And now they gather from all parts of the world to prepare for a war. A war to protect the Mother Crystals and Venadil. Worm King Bahamut. Bahamut, conqueror of the skies. Can you hear me? It is I, Tenzin. I have traveled halfway across the world carrying the breath of Phoenix. I have heard your call. The Keeper of the Apocalypse is among us, and its emptiness has already enveloped three of the Mother Crystals. I have received the blessings of the Flame of Resurrection. Allow Phoenix and I to accompany you in your efforts to destroy the Keeper. I am here to serve you. I pledge my life and my soul to your cause. The future of all the deals is in danger, and you mock my sincere request? Lord Bahamut, are you no better than the ruler of dreams, Diabolos? Do you too look down upon my incompleteness? Incompleteness is the least of your petty faults. Open your eyes to the destiny that lies before you. Oblivion. Let's bring our friends out. And I guess we're not fighting Muhammad, we're fighting with our distractness. Now then. We've got our friends. We're heading in. See what Oru has to offer us. Oh. 
Hopefully Millie's okay on healing Frontier. This did seem like a more tuned fight than Diablos for sure. go oh, I guess I'm missing here because I do not have the ability to fight airborne enemies. Oh, hey. Shantoto does the trick now. I believe. Seven hundred forty one points of damage. Twice, even. Phoenix, you have found yourself quite a brave soul to bear your burdens. Not many can withstand the fury of Orview. However, the actions you have chosen to take are useless. While well, you are fully aware that the children of Valtana are powerless against the emptiness, you still drag them into your games. Bahamut, in size we may seem like mere insects to you, but our strength is beyond anything you can imagine. Our road leads our roads lead to the most distant lands. Our songs sing out across the seas. When united, there is nothing we cannot do. If you think of this as a game, then it is we who will bring victory to Vanadil. Bahamut, we fight the same cause. There is no reason for us to feud. Let us join together and put an end to the Keeper of the Apocalypse. Silence, child. I need not hear your whimpering. Phoenix, I ask you, what is it that you wish? Phoenix. Sing to these children. Tell them of our age. Innocent blood spilled forth onto the plains of Anadil. The world shudders as she is thrust into the chaos and despair. Neither power nor destiny can bring an end to what has already begun. However, though the storms of, through the storm of the night, a star of glory shines bright. Through the howling of beasts, the song rings clear. Shining star, echoing song, you are our dreams and prayers. The third verse of Memoria de la Stona, the words sung only by the gods. Uh, Phoenix, Tenzin. So your children also know of the Memoria de la Stona. As a reward for your sag sagacity, I shall let you in on a secret. Ages ago, when people aspired to open the gates of paradise, there was a child who knew the fourth verse. That child came to me in search of my assistance. And thus we made a pact. An agreement that was to be put into motion the day the Keeper of the Apocalypse returned to Vanadil. And that pact is... Gather, my minions. It is time for the ancient pact to be fulfilled. We shall return the light of the crystals. We shall save our mother, Vanadil. Children of Dawn, your end is near. Right. 
five minutes. Uh, that's all right, I suppose. Um, let's have a look at their missions. Yeah, we've taken care of that one. Where do we actually need to go? I'm assuming back home. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, in the safe hold, back home. Actually, can we go down and teleport from the safe hold, safe hold from here? That might be the fastest way of testing the case. Uh, leave Reburn. Go to the Mr. Oak Coast. Okay, I guess we're doing that. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's see. Warp in that case, then, I guess. Um, there we go. Uh... I think we may end up with this. We're coming up to around uh, two hours here. I think that should be good enough for tonight. So let's travel to Avnasia. 1.3. We're gonna have a chat with Justinius. Lafayette, if you're searching for Ulmia and Tenzan, they just entered the Elder's quarters. Lafayette, I am pleased to see you have returned. I spoke to the Spachier about Bahamut's words. However, I do not know how much he believed. People often have a tendency to block out truths that are too terrible to face. That Bahamut and his minions will destroy all mankind. All of us would wish this to simply be a nightmare from which we will eventually awake. I myself had trouble coming to terms with what I heard. The Keeper of the Apocalypse. The fact. When the Keeper is born, the children of Altana must die. Why would Bahamut wish such a terrible fate upon us? What caused him to despise us this much? Lady Ulmia, do you remember when Bahamut sang? At that moment, my blade, Phoenix, enlightened me. Long ago, our ancestors, the ancients, fought many a great battle with the terrestrial avatars. Among those battles, the most fierce and drawn out was that, was that fought by Bahamut over the opening of the gates of paradise. It was during that fight that people learned of the emptiness. The emptiness, the will of Promethea. However, I know little of the Twilight Gods. Lady Ulmia, will you not give us insight into this deity's connection with Benadil and its children? I... I apologize, sir. However, this is something we are forbidden to speak of. Forbidden? Traveler from the East, let me explain. Promethea. Simply speaking, his name brings damnation. As has the Dawn Goddess, Altana and the Twilight Gods. As has the God Dawn Goddess, Altana, the Twilight God has existed since the beginning of time. 
However, unlike the kind and giving Altana, Promethea is known as Lord of Chaos. It is said that his curse, unleashed on mankind for the sin of opening the gates of paradise, dooms us to an eternity of strife. The only way for us to be saved from this horrendous curse is to forget it, and that is why the name Promethea cannot be seen nor heard anywhere across the Hill. The Lord of Chaos. This is one of the many reasons why our, your people in the East know nothing of Promethea. Without a name, how can anything exist? Your people are probably better off not knowing the tainted history that would that has locked up. This world has locked up in its past. Truths we do, must not know. Truths we should not know. And truths we are forced to face. We must be careful with these truths, for if we are not, they could bring tragedy. Tragedy? For example, Bahamut's warning. We knew all along that Bahamut would one day appear and attempt to destroy us. You knew? That is why, the moment we heard his voice, we mobilized our armies to capture him before he could assemble his minions. However, your imprudent meddling has interfered with our plans and prevented us from accomplishing our mission. Do you truly wish to see the bodies of your fallen brothers lie sprawled across the barren plains of a dead world? Nagmolada, Ulmia was only attempting to stop Preach from doing something unforgivable. This traveler, Tenzin, is the true culprit. It is he who has tricked my granddaughter into taking up this ridiculous journey. It is true. It is I who requested that Ulmia act. However, I had received a permission from the Duke Vicarius, Ashantari, to investigate the emptiness. Tenzin, stopping the emptiness from spreading. Is that not the wish of both our peoples? Seeking out Bahamut on your own without any set reason, ultimately disrupting our plans. Why, this sounds like nothing more than treason. I... There is nothing more I can say. My actions were uncalled for. I apologize. Fine. However, from now on I request that you all you leave all matters dealing with the Worm King to the Duchy. Differences in thinking can cause different reactions from different races. However, we in Juno care not of differences. Our wish is only to save all the children of Anadil. That is why you have begun new plans to stop Bahamut. But he has left Rivern, how will you find him? Everything is in motion, however, as for the details, I myself know little. My assignment has nothing to do with Bahamut. My mission is to stop that boy. Hmm. Lafayette, where is your amulet? Um, I saw it, it was stolen, I gave it British. What? You gave it away? You imbecile! How could you just let go of such an important item? Sir, it is not Lafayette's fault. I asked him to give it to Preach to help her. I wanted to save her. Preach? Ah, oh, I see. If the amulet is still here, then... Lafayette, retrieve the amulet from the girl and bring it to the resting place of the Fort Crystal in the Northlands. The crystal is located deep below Castle Swall, and it can only be reached by traversing the ruins of Sosha. Hear ye, hear ye! The soldiers have left the aquarium. They're heading up and moving out. They finished packing their secret boxes. They've got what they want, and now they're gone. Hmm? Secret boxes? Lafayette, come to the far western entrance of Sosha. But not without the amulet. I will be waiting for you there. Right. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the door here. See if we can speak to Preach, and then we'll. Uh, and things for tonight, I think. Whew. 
Preach. Oh, hey everybody. Thanks for coming to visit. I've been so bored here, all alone in my room. I'm relieved to see you're feeling better, Lady Preach. Please, let me apologize for my actions on Cape Reburn. I did not realize that after returning to Tavnasia you would meet such a fate. You didn't realize? Does it look like I had any idea either? I was just trying to protect our criminal buddy, Lafayette. Who would have thought it'd be, I'd be the one who got caught? Oh well, I'm sorry that I got all of you guys worried over me. As everybody already knows, I'm often referred to as the abhorrent one. That's why I was locked up in the cathedral for a while there. When Miss Mildorian came became boss, she would often let me out of the church so I could roam around the town freely. It was pretty fun. During the Great War I was able to get help a lot of people, and before long everyone had started to forget why they feared me. But now look, they're never going to let me out of here again. Damn! Preach, you are not the abhorrent one. There's nothing abhorrent about you. Yes, you were changed by the uh, by that accident long ago, but you're still Preach. Changed? Do you mean that without the amulet, you... I heard from the elder de Spachier that Lady Preach has, was troubled by a grave sickness, but... That... That is... Come on, top nut boy. Don't you get it? Lafayette, you understand what's going on, right? Do you understand? Um, sure. That's right. Take a look at me. I haven't aged a day since that accident. That... That cannot be possible. The real reason I was locked up in the cathedral for so long was because I got too close to a certain object hidden deep below the church. I was about to touch it, and boom! There was a bright light, and I was left like this. If I were a Tarotaru, no one would have even ever noticed. But I'm an Elvan. After a couple of years, people started to wonder why I wasn't getting any bigger. Amazing. I would never imagined. But is this truly a reason for everyone to call you the abhorrent one? There must be... Could it be that not only are you incapable of aging, but you cannot... Die? Hell if I know. And I'm not throwing myself off any cliffs to find out. But you know, since the accident, no monster has come near me. I guess you could say that that's pretty close to immortality. For centuries, the emperors of my nation have searched for the secrets of eternal life. Never did I think I would be standing before this, that secret. I can understand why the Spachier would want to hide you from the others by branding you with the title of Abhorrent. To protect you from the teasing and taunting of your peers, but more so from those who would use you for their own personal gain. To people like the emperors of countries such as mine. Whoa, wait a minute. How do we know that you really came here to see Bahamut? You'd better not be thinking of auctioning me off to your leaders, because I'm not for sale. Of course I would do, never do such a thing, Lady Preach. My mission was to speak with Lord Bahamut. However, I did not know that things would turn out as they did. What? You've already met Bahamut? Unbelievable! Why the hell didn't anybody tell me what was going on? Tencent, if you want to apologize for something, start by apologizing for not taking me with you guys. While I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, the whole world's turning upside down, and you're the ones who are having all the fun. Well, now it's my time. Now it's time for Preach to get get a piece of the action. I'll find that overgrown steam lizard and give him a piece of my mind. I'm sorry, Preach, but that will not be possible. Lafayette and Sir Tenson must return to the Northlands, and they will need this amulet you are currently borrowing. Lady Preach, will you accompany us to the Northlands, if only for a short period of time? If we receive permission from Nagmulada, I am positive that the Elder Despachier will allow Preach to leave this place. Fine by me. But why do we have to go back to the Northlands? That place is freezing. To meet that boy. 
Tencent and the Bahamut may have refused to help us, but we cannot sit back and allow the emptiness to take over Benadil. We must find that boy and learn the truth of what lies within the will of Promethea. The will of Promethea? Do you not remember when the ruler of dreams told us that the emptiness was the will of the Twilight God? This terrible deity is said to have caused hideous, a hideous curse on the children of the dawn. His will can be nothing but pure evil. And it is that with that call in its uh, let's say that again. And it is that will that calls the keeper of the apocalypse. The will of Promethea calls the keeper. Excuse me, my lady, but Elder Despachier has requested that you not bother Lady Preach any longer. So, what you really want is to ask this boy about the Prometheus, what Promethea is thinking, right? Well, simply put, yes. Well, instead of wasting your time chasing off some crazy boy, why don't we go and ask Promethea ourselves? I know where we can find him. What? <laughs> On the Mithra Coast, there's a cave leading to the Sacrarium. Head there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't forget your preparations before you go. Unless you really want to meet Promethea. It's not in this world. Okay. Um, I think we may need to do some prep for uh, next time anyway, so it's going to be a good place to end here, I think. So. We got some things done here. A couple of uh, fights and some story. So I mean, I'm pretty happy with the progress here so far. So. Let's leave things here for tonight, and we'll pick it up again on Wednesday after I've gone ahead and done a little bit of prep here. Yes, so we have our maps and things like that, for example. And then we'll continue on with uh, Chapter 4, maybe Chapter 5 as well. I'm not entirely sure how far it'll go here. Um, but we're going to continue on with the Chains of Prometheus storyline for a while here. For now, though, let's end things here. I will see you again next time. And until then, I hope you have a very good evening, a very good week, and I will see you when we're back again for session number 23. Until then, take care, and good night, everyone.